Cement is vital to the construction industry and wider society. It is the glue that holds our infrastructure together. Cement is one of the key ingredients in concrete, the most widely used material on Earth after water. Concrete is used to build the world around us, from buildings such as homes, hospitals and schools, to roads, bridges and railways, plus much more. But how is cement made? How does rock and clay become the fine powder used in thousands of building projects every day? It's a complicated chemical process, so we're going to take you through from beginning to end. We are Cemex, one of the world's leading building materials suppliers, and cement is one of the key products we make. In the UK, we have around 2,000 employees based across nearly 200 sites nationwide. All working hard to provide our customers with the construction solutions they need. We manufacture over 2 million tonnes of cement every year with safety our number one priority throughout every stage of the process. We start the cement making process at our Kensworth Quarry, which is near Dunstable. This is one of our many locations that produces some of the materials needed for cement production. The material you see here is chalk, which is extracted from the quarry and mixed with water and then transported as a slurry to our cement plant in Rugby. This transfer takes place via an underground pipeline that is 92 kilometers in length. Around 4,000 cubic meters of chalk slurry is pumped from Kensworth each day, passing under the M1 twice on its journey and saving up to 250 lorry movements every day. Also travelling to Rugby is clay and limestone, which is mined from one of our quarries in Southam. Once extracted, it is crushed and then transported by truck to the cement plant. We now join the chalk, clay and limestone in Rugby. There has been a cement plant in operation at this location since 1865, with the first rotary kiln built in 1910. Semex acquired the plant in 2005 and continues to invest heavily into this location, which is a crucial part of its UK portfolio. Over £50 million has been invested into this site over the last five years alone to ensure it runs at maximum efficiency and continues to meet customer demand. This includes funding for new state-of-the-art cement packing lines and new fuel handling systems. In total, the equipment at this site is worth over half a billion pounds. We're proud to have been part of the community in rugby for such a long time and regularly host Heritage Open Days so others can tour this incredible site for themselves. We also support the charitable activities of local schools, community groups and charities. In the next stage of the process, specific amounts of the clay and limestone are added into a horizontal steel ball mill, with other ingredients including iron oxide, silica sand and decarbonized raw materials such as paper ash. Once inside, the material is ground by the steel balls into a fine powder that is then ready to be combined with the dried chalk within the preheater tower. Chalk slurry from Kensworth is fed into a crusher dryer where the slurry is contacted by hot combustion gases from the process and is instantly dried. This hot mixture is lifted to the cyclones within the preheated tower from where it combines with the other raw materials mentioned earlier. 
From there, the material then undergoes complex chemical reactions inside the huge rotary kiln. This is a core part of the process and requires a tremendous amount of heat at 1450 degrees C. The material is transformed into clinker, small dark grey nodules, three to four centimetres in diameter. We acknowledge that this part of the process can be very energy intensive and are working hard to reduce our use of fossil fuels and impact on the environment. At Rugby, we use an alternative fuel called climber fuel to fuel the kiln. This is a waste derived fuel which is made using household residue and commercial waste that would otherwise go to landfill. It is produced for us by our partner Suez at a dedicated facility in Rugby and we use up to 300,000 tonnes of this every year. We have recently completed a £22 million investment at our Rugby Cement plant, which enables us to increase the amount of climber fuel used in the process. Our goal is to run this plant using 100% alternative fuels, in line with our global ambition of achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. Moving back to the clinker, we see the final stage take place as it works through the cement mill where it is ground by different sized steel balls. Gypsum and limestone were also added to the recipe in order to achieve the product performance requirements. Now the cement is made. It is housed in storage silos from where it is extracted and transported to facilities where it will be packaged in sacks or supplied in bulk. From here, it will then be transported out to our customers by truck or tanker. We use the cement made at Rugby ourselves at our many ready-mix concrete plants, but it is also used by many external customers. Our location in the centre of the country, close to the key M6 and M1 road networks, makes us ideally situated to get the product where it is needed quickly. As you can see, it's quite a complicated manufacturing process. Semex is at the forefront of development to make cement production as sustainable as it can be while continuing to meet customer demands, ensuring cement can continue to fulfill its vital role in construction for years to come.